welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What do they need to know? So we're going to get four cards from this deck. What does Libras need to know? We're going to be pulling from three different decks today. If I need to pull more, I will. Um, but let's just start with these four. Okay. I worry about our differences. You and me come from different worlds, but my heart says go for it and take the risk. I'm afraid you're not going to understand me and reject what I have to say. So I feel like somebody has something to say or they want to be totally honest with you about how they feel. Um, when it comes to you and this connection, I'm heartbroken. I didn't realize I would break my own heart by leaving you. I want to reconcile. Please forgive me. I don't feel you love me. Perhaps you're seeing someone else. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Okay. So I don't know why I'm picking up something about this person's going to keep playing games with you and you may wind up meeting someone new. I did see new in your pre-shuffle. And it's coming out again here, sort of in like a roundabout way. I don't feel you love me. Perhaps you're seeing someone else. Maybe I'm just paranoid. If this hasn't happened yet for you, Libra, I feel like um, something's going to shock you or surprise you when it comes to meeting someone new. Very unexpected encounter with somebody. Okay. Let's jump into this other deck and see what else the universe wants you to know. So what messages do you have for Libra? What does Libra need to know about this person, their situation? What's coming in for them? Oh, that card just slid out of the deck. All right, we have five months from now. So what messages do you have for Libras? What do they need to know? Yep, I knew it. Well, I didn't know it was going to come back out, but this is what I saw in your pre-shuffle. Not this one. I didn't see this one in your pre-shuffle, but I definitely seen these two. Prepare for what's to come and dating. We also have new opportunities. Better things are opening up for you. Leave the comfort zone behind and open your world to new possibilities. So something is going to happen in five months from now for you, Libra. And we also have dating. Ready to start dating, meeting new love interests, getting over someone. And we have sudden shift. Your current reality is shifting towards something very different from what you had anticipated. It will be for your highest good. All right, so some of you have new love coming in. And I feel like you don't see it. You're not even really thinking about it. Maybe you're still attracted to this other person. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectors? What do they need to know? Breakthrough. Your connection is going through a big transformation that will elevate you to the next level. Believe in miracles. I definitely see some changes here. Oh. Consuming. Too focused on one person. Unhealthy obsession. A world built around just love with them. We have glow up, happiness, and better days are ahead. Yeah, see, here's the new love card. So we have the dating card coming out, and now we have the new love card. So it's confirmation. There's someone better, a new love interest coming in. You may be letting go of an ex. Um, we also have unexpected events. Expect the unexpected. Something you don't see coming is soon to change your life. A door that was closed is now open. All right, let me just stop here for a second and then we can talk about these. I just want to say something before I forget my train of thought. Okay, um, Libra, I feel like you're going to reconcile with someone and someone that you really want to be with, right? And you really want things to work out with this person. But I feel like somebody is going to enter your life and they're going to change all of that around. They're going to change all of that up. And I feel like this is what the universe is wanting you to be prepare for it says prepare for what's to come so you may be feeling like you're going to be dealing with this person that you want to reconcile with and i do 
see you reconciling with this person. I see someone coming back in. We have kissing your, I have to cover up that word. So we have kissing your ass and then we have love bombing, showering you with attention, but there's manipulation behind it. But we have better days are ahead and happiness, finding happiness feeling blessed and grateful. So there's going to be something here for you to feel blessed. Oh, give me one second. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I just, um, my incense just fell. I don't know where it fell at. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Give me one second. It just fell like right behind the table. Okay. I don't know why that incense fell like that. And it just sort of like flipped out of the thing. Okay, so anyway. Um, I feel like what's happening here is there's something that's going to be going on that you don't see. We have glow up and consuming. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of glow up. I don't know, for some of you, you may change your hair. You may start wearing makeup, stop wearing makeup. You may change your wardrobe because you're being consumed by this person. And I feel like the universe is wanting you to know that there's someone else out there for you or there's a better opportunity out there for you. And we also have confusion. You don't know what you want, so you need clarity. Um, it says before you get involved. So I feel like someone is going to enter your life and you're going to be thinking about like, should I deal with this person or should I stick with the person that I'm already with? All right, let's shuffle and see what else. Spare, what messages do you have for Libra? What do they need to know? Hidden blessing, alone time, half truths, and undecided. Yeah, because there's someone here that's playing games. There's more to the story, secrets and lies, not who they claim to be. Honestly, I don't know what I want. Not sure if I want a relationship. I feel like this person's going to be changing their tune in a little bit because we have hidden blessings. You're being asked to go in a new direction. You will be amazingly surprised by the detour. It will be unknown territory for you. And then we have alone time. I'm taking the time to be alone and balance my emotions. So right now, some of you may be taking some time out from this person, just not wanting to be bothered um, because you don't like the way this person is treating you. So you're holding back um, because of that. So let's see. I feel like you're just, you know, wanting to be by yourself, possibly isolating yourself right now from this person. Yeah, we have apology, disrespect, tattoos. Some of you may be removing a tattoo of someone, maybe their name or their face or something um, that reminds you of them. Either you're removing one or you may be thinking about getting one or you were thinking about getting one. Um, we have that you're tired of the disrespect with this person. However, that is for you. I'm sorry, it's my fault. What can I do to make it right? I feel like somebody's going to come in and try to apologize. But I feel like um, they're going to be doing it because you're pulling your attention away from them. You don't know. Some of you, I'm feeling you don't know if you want to be bothered with this person anymore. Um, some of you have a soulmate coming in. A soul connection. Or this may be a friend at first that turns into something romantic and I feel like the reason why you may keep this person as a friend at first is because you're still like in between whoever this person is that you're dealing with Libra and this new person it's like you're like I don't know whether I should walk away yeah because right behind that we have love triangle I feel like you're gonna have a choice between two people you either already have a choice between two people or you will because this person keeps switching up on you. The universe is saying you deserve love. You deserve better. I feel like there's a passionate connection that's coming in um, for some of you. All right. Let's get some tarot. And let's see what else the universe wants you to know.
Okay, what other messages do you have for Libras? The Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, y'all, I saw this in your pre-shuffle a lot. The Ace of Cups was just showing up, like, consistently. New beginnings, a new relationship, new romance with happiness. We have the Four of Wands reverse. Some of you are in a connection. You just feel like there's not enough stability. Yeah, with the Knight of Wands, could be a Sagittarius that keeps running in and out. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? The Knight of Cups. Listen, with this Ace of Wands and this Knight of Cups and this Ace of Cups, just get ready for the new Libra. Even though you may not accept this person um, at first because I feel like your feelings... Um, or, or it looks like they're going to all be all over the place. And it's like you're going to be asking yourself, should I accept this love from this new person? You may be feeling like, well, what if it don't work out and I give up on the person I'm already with? But trust your intuition when it comes to what, I, you know, what you're supposed to do, because I feel like your gut feeling, your intuition is going to let you know. We have the seven of wands. Somebody may be holding back from you right now and you just don't feel like this person is treating you fair. We have the ten of wands and the judgment. So I do see second chance here. Somebody's going to have a wake up call about you. Watch. I'm telling you when they do, let me know. Hit me up on my email or come back to this video and comment. Because with that judgment card, I just feel like there's a wake up call coming for someone and it's because universe has <laughs> got the two of cups listen it's coming but the question is libra what are you going to do are you going to choose oh, look at those cards just flew out of that are you going to choose the old person or the new person with the lovers the death reverse the knight of swords i feel like when this new love comes in for you this other person is going to be on your bumper tough like they're gonna be trying to get your attention all over the place and i feel like it's gonna piss you off it's gonna piss you off but it's also going to make you feel like why now like why do you want all my attention now when you didn't want my attention before because the death card here in reverse is resistance to changing something um so i feel like this person you know they're not willing to change their behavior right now could be a scorpio we have Scorpio, we have Gemini here. Um, but I feel like once they see your attention being pulled in a different direction, that's when they're going to change up. And that's when they're going to start coming towards you, giving you all of this attention out of nowhere. And you're not going to understand it because you're going to be like, well, what do you want? You know, you didn't want this before. I feel like someone you're trying to get attention out of that's not giving you that energy right now, as soon as the soulmate, this new person, this new love come in, the two of cups, that's when this person's going to come in. Yeah, there's someone, could be an Aquarius that you are dealing with, or you just, you're losing hope in a relationship that you're in. We have the eight of wands, the five of cups, the moon, the page of cups, and the page of wands. Somebody who's not wanting to talk right now is going to reconcile with you with the six of cups. Could be a Pisces for some of you, or this is what you don't see coming. Because I feel like with this Five of Cups, this is you being sad, but I feel like the tables are going to turn. Where this person is going to start being sad, and they're going to start texting you a lot, trying to figure out what you have going on. There's something hiding behind the moon. Oh, Page of Cups. A love offer. But I feel like right now, someone may be turning away. They're not saying much. And you have no idea what's going on with them. But that's all going to change. Could be a younger. Some of you may be dealing with a younger person. Someone younger than you. Or um, they're just immature. Their actions. You may be like, I can't believe this person is this age. They need to grow up. So what messages do you have for Libra? So what do they need to know? Yeah. Something that you think is over. This could be happening with a Leo 
or you don't have the strength to deal with this person anymore even though yeah look at that the king of wands is right there and the next card in the deck is the nine of swords so for some of you there's the king of wands that's going to feel some type of way that you're pulling back your energy and moving on or at least they think you are or this is something that's coming in your back is turned to it this person that you feel like you have this obsession with, I feel like the tables are going to flip and they're going to start obsessing over you because it's going to sort of shock them that they don't have your attention like they used to, Libra. So for some of you, this has already happened. And for others, this is what's coming in. Could be with the Capricorn you're dealing with, but I do definitely see Leo energy here and Scorpio energy with the strength reverse and the world reverse. Something that is stagnant right now that's disappointing you because you can't seem to make it work is going to change for you. But also there's new love coming in. So I feel like you're going to have some choices that you're going to have to make. Okay, take your time. Don't let anybody rush you. After all, this person wasn't rushing to be with you before, right? So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.